This past March, I was able to attend Spanibus 2024 in Barcelona, Spain. While there, I had the opportunity to meet a true legend in the autoflower community, the Joint Doctor. The Joint Doctor runs Doctor's Choice and is credited with offering the first successful autoflower strain to the market called Lowrider. He and I discuss what sets autos apart and why you should consider an autoflower strain for your next grow. Also, be sure to stick around to the end as we will discuss our upcoming $1,000 seed giveaway. As always, this information is intended for medical educational purposes. I am not diagnosing or treating any condition you may have, and please know and comply with all applicable laws wherever you may live. I'm Dr. Judd with Green Cert MD. Let's get into it. Hey guys, we're continuing our, our coverage here at Spanibus. I am joined by the Joint Doctor. Thank you so much. Oh, nice, uh, nice, uh, nice to have you here, welcome. Yeah, and so um, I uh, have limited knowledge about what you guys do, so tell us a little bit about Doctor's Choice. Okay, we're, we're a seed bank, we're a seed company. Uh, we specialize mainly in auto flowering seeds, uh, and we're based in Europe uh, with Canadian roots. I'm Canadian. Uh, we basically, Doctor's Choice uh, offers a range of auto flowering seeds that are especially popular with home growers uh, and they're excellent entry level type uh, plants because they're easy to grow and quite fast to finish. Uh, we happen to have the first 100% auto flowering variety that I created uh, quite a few years ago called Lowrider, uh, which we still offer in like regular seed form. Uh, so people could make their own seeds, we actually encourage that. Uh, we have a program, Be a Breeder, uh, so we can offer uh, support uh, to people who want to maybe create their own auto flowering strains. So that makes us a little different from uh, a lot of other seed banks, right? Uh, but basically we're... Uh, you know, we're a small seed bank, uh, but with, with uh, plants in the new food shoots or enter the Canadian market, uh, which has been just, uh, it's taken longer than I, I thought to do it right because, uh, you know, with the new regulations and everything. Yep. So, um, yeah, some uh, good things on the horizon for yeah. us. Well, good. And so, um, what kind of, uh, what are your, like, top sellers in terms of strains right now? Uh, right now, we, we've got some new strains. We've decided to put out some of our uh, photo period strains because obviously we have a collection of good old school strains uh, that we uh, simply were not focusing on marketing. But uh, you know, they, they, they stood the test of time, so we've been uh, released some uh, limited uh, edition strains right now. Uh, the latest one is called Sour Pups. And it, it's, it's a fast flowering, uh, well, it's a regular strain, feminized form, with a, a, a good portion of Thai genetics in there. So it's got quite a bit of uh, um, sati nice sativa quality to it, as well as a, a unique taste that I think people have been enjoying so far. And all of our plants are quite easy to grow and, and fairly stable. Uh, we also uh, we're also have it, as part of our Be a Breeder program, we, we, we put out recently a uh, chronic rider, um, chronic cross. It's a back cross of between auto flowering, not auto flowering plants, or what we call a fast version. So uh, it's useful for breeding, but it's also just a very easy plant to grow, especially for outdoors. Because it takes the, the goodness of the chronic, and be, because of the faster, uh, flowering of the chronic rider, which is auto flowering, you end up having something 
that's, you can clone, but still finishes two or three weeks earlier than the typical uh, plant. So, and we've got some more releases coming up very soon um, under that Via Breeder program. And yeah, that's. Uh, well, I've found that auto flowers have been very successful for our patients in the U.S. because, um, uh, as, as you and I were just talking a minute ago, you can run them uh, all under the fly, uh, same lights. Uh, you don't have to worry about changing your light structure. Uh, so you can run different generations all in the same tent. Um, and, uh, and they tend to be uh, pretty quick uh, to turn around, too. Exactly. Yeah, that's, uh, that's one of the things. They, uh, people can grow them, if they grow their own medicine, uh, people with reduced mobility or simply don't have the resources or the desire to uh, have a, a, a complicated setup. Uh, this is not necessarily, uh, you know, a profession. This is out of necessity. So it, it, it does make it easier and it does, it does open up actually market for seeds to a, a wider audience than maybe it had before. Uh, and also in the case of like northern countries, which have at high altitudes, just areas with very short seasons, uh, you know, it, it, auto flowering plants in general have opened up sort of new um, markets, if you will, or just new areas where it's possible to, to, to grow your own under the sun, whether it's under the sun or in your closet or in your balcony, yeah. right? So. Uh, yeah, well, exactly. and you know, for the people who are looking to get a moderate, uh, you know, the, the half an ounce to one ounce a month user, um, it's it's so much easier to have this compact structure plant that, that you can grow. Uh, you don't have to worry about having a huge giant tent. Uh, or cloning, right? Or yeah, having two two different setups or timers, right? Yep. For yep. sure. <coughs> so I'm not saying it's better, but you can you can see that there's advantages if you're not if you're not growing commercially, you know, on a commercial scale. This is, actually most people just want to produce a little bit of their own medicine because it's like growing anything. You have your own garden, it, it just it tastes better, right? Yep. You put some love into it and, and it, it gives back even more. Yep. There's nothing like, you know, uh, consuming your own medicine. We have the power to grow our own medicine. It's, uh, it's, it's Medicine has been, you know, uh, Modern medicine, we think of it as, as you know, synthetic medicine. It, it's pills, but but really, you know, herbal medicine and being able to, you know, preventative medicine, heal yourself with plants. That's real medicine. That's been around forever, right? Yep. Yep. And you're able to uh, keep the uh, uh, edit. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what was I gonna say? Oh. And one of the other things that I love about being able to grow your own medicine is that uh, you have control over your supply. You're not at the mercy of what does the dispensary have in stock? Did they sell out of what you like? Uh, exactly. Can you get it? You know, or you're driving around trying to find it. Yeah, so, yeah, it's liberating. You, you don't have to worry about that aspect, right? So it takes that. If that if that causes stress in your life, uh, you know, finding the right medicine. Oh, I don't know if this one will work. They, they're out of this, or I have to go. I have to physically order it, or whatnot. It's, it's, it's for sure. It, you know, and, and also you can share it with friends, and, and you know, it feels good to be like, it's like I grew that. You yeah. know, you have bragging rights, and uh, there's always room for improvement. You know, like it's rarely perfect the first time, although it happens with beginner's luck. Yeah. But uh, people who are just have a green thumb or are good yeah. gardeners, you know, uh, it, it, it's not rocket science. Yeah. So, uh, but, but yeah, there's nothing like sharing. And the passion for gardening, you know, it goes beyond cannabis and everything. It can be healing in itself just to nurture something every day and be patient. And in the end, you'll, you know, it's rewarding. It's healthy, right? Yeah. Yep. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. How should ah, people go about trying to find you? And um, you can basically you can follow us, and we put out uh, we put out videos and content. We you can check out our website. To be, uh, details be part of our be a breeder program that I was talking about. Yep. And yeah. Good. Let's do it. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it and I hope you have a good rest of the show.
Oh, I appreciate your interview. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, sir. All right. I want to thank the Joint Doctor again for taking the time to speak with me, and let us know down below what your thoughts are on Autoflowers for Beginners, which has been a lively discussion in the comments over the past few videos. If you found this video helpful, please click like, smash that subscribe button, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming content. Also, consider supporting us on Patreon, link in the description below, which is where information will be coming out very soon regarding our upcoming celebration of reaching 5,000 subscribers. So we're almost there, guys. So if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button now, because we're going to be giving away $1,000 worth of premium genetics to our Patreon supporters. So that's it for now, and until I see you again, puff puff, and pass it on.